Linear search is an algorithm you definitely should be able to code from memory. So it's a search algorithm, so it's looking for a target within a list of items. The way linear search works is it checks for each item one by one until it finds the target. So we could use either loop here, but I think a for loop is more appropriate because we're iterating through this list. So the standard for loop here is for i in range length of your list. And we're basically seeing whether the item out of that index is equal to our target. If the two are equal, therefore we have found the target and we're kind of done. So at this point, I might want to just print i, maybe something like found at i. And when I run it, I get found at two. Well, what does that mean? Well, that two is index two, which is where four is. So that code's kind of working already, but what if my target was nine? Well, nine isn't in the list at all. So I want some appropriate message instead of nothing. It's very tempting to do something like this, print not found as an else. The issue is we're gonna see that a lot. We see it five times when I haven't got the item at all. And if I put that back to four, well, I'm still seeing that too many times. That's not a clever way of doing it. Another issue with that is once I found the target at index two, I kept going, I kept checking the list, not really efficient. So a clever way to get around both of those issues is once I find my item, I can break out of this loop. Break is a way to get out of a loop early. It'll just end the for loop. So if it breaks, we've found our item. If it doesn't break, it means we haven't found the item at all. And we can use that fact with an else. So else can actually be used with for loops and while loops as well. And else when it's attached to a loop only runs when break hasn't been used. So else runs when the loop finishes, but break hasn't been used. And in this case, that's representing the fact that we haven't found our target. In which case I can say something like target not found. So let's test this. My target is four, so it should be found index two, which is what we got. And if I change the target to be nine again, we should get one single message saying it's not found. 